Hello Internet. Today we're going to be making time lapses, which have many uses, whatever you can really think of to use it for. And uh, here are some examples that I made. Alright, so as you can see, they have a lot of uses, and you can pretty much do it for anything that you can think would look really cool, sped up really fast. Um, like in uh, Mythbusters, when they're doing a, making a big project or something, they film them making it, and then they just speed it up. That looks pretty cool kind of looks like an ant moving really fast um, so it's pretty much I, I like clouds because it's easy to do you can just look up in the sky hey that cloud looks cool and then just start filming but um what you need to do if you're gonna make a time lapse is you need to probably get like a tripod and just set it up and film for an extended period of time um, if you have like with me I have a Kodak camera and the battery life is about an hour and a half and I have an 8 gig SD card so I get about an hour 20 hour 30 minute videos so uh, they're, they're pretty good I usually like to make them about like 10 seconds overall so um, we're going to import some footage I have this file I took this a couple days ago and the reason it's two files is because that's just how it saved it um, it, it was too big to save as one file so I guess the camera just did that so we really don't need the audio and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the end we're gonna hit control hold it down and you'll get the squiggly line and then just click and drag it as far left as it'll go and it was like over here now it's here 16 minutes so it just compressed it four times so now it's four times faster so you click in the video again and go to insert video envelopes whatever event velocity the green line pops up and that's the speed of the video so you can move it down here now it goes backwards since it's in the negative and that where is it a hundred percent that's normal so we're going to drag it up to three hundred which is three times and so it divides it into thirds if you can see these little notches right here that's when the video starts playing back. So we're just going to drag it to the first notch. And now the whole thing was over here. Now it's at five minutes. So that's a pretty big impression. Or comp compression. Yeah, there you go. Compression. It's not like we're trying to impress the videos or anything. Okay. So now we're going to take the second part. Again, don't need the audio. Do the same thing. Hold control. Drag it click on it, insert event velocity, drag it all the way up, and now it's right here. So it was an hour and 45 minute video, and after one thing it's 8 minutes and 47 seconds. So then what you want to do is render. Um, I usually render it as the date and then part 1, so it would be 6, 23, 10, part 1. And I use Sony AVC, and I have a custom template. If you need to, if you want to copy this down or whatever, like duplicate the settings for your own video, you can probably just pause it here. Um, I think I left the audio the same. 
and the project you want to just do best and then you're just gonna click save I already did it so cancel and then I'm just gonna import that part one and it is right here so you're just gonna delete this this is after you render it which this one took me three hours and 15 minutes so it's gonna take a while just drag it in and do the same thing delete the audio drag it down click in it event velocity and drag it up so now well, that bar is in the way. Now it is 51 seconds. So you're going to do the same thing. Render it. And save it as part 2. So, bring in part 2. Again, I already did this. And, I think for that one took 18 minutes, I believe. And, um... Like I said, I normally do 10 seconds, but since this was a larger video, I think I'm going to go to 15. So I'll just zoom in on it, get it to the 15 mark, and for some reason it's not. So we'll just do 1501. And for this, when you're trying to get a precise time, I usually insert a video or an event velocity first and then just drag it to the first notch and then I hold control and then compress it so that's where I want it 15 seconds so file render as I will just overwrite this part 3 because I did it in 10 seconds already and it was fast so I'm just gonna overwrite it so save yes and uh, so this will probably take a little bit to render, so I'm just going to pause it here and resume shortly. Okay, we are back, and as you can see, it took 2 minutes and 31 seconds. So, not too long of a period of time. Man, I can't talk today. Things just stumbling out. Alright, so part 3, that's what we just rendered. Uh-oh, wrong thing. import part 3 delete that drag it in here okay now this is just the final touches sort of you're gonna go to video effects I like to do you can pretty much do whatever you want to it but this is just what I like to do color curves and just kinda add a little bit more contrast make the whites a little whiter and the blue's a little darker just so it sticks out a little more the whites like pop out and um, color corrector and as you can see like right here you just drag it to the blue it makes the blue bluer and change it whatever you want but you don't want to overdo it like that because clouds or the sky usually isn't that blue so kind of just add a little bit like that and I usually don't mess with these because then it turns the clouds colors and clouds usually aren't purple so you can add a little bit of saturation not too much because then it looks bad unless that's what you're going for like a different color clouds but for this just a little bit gamma just bring it down a little bit usually and a little bit with the gain and then that's pretty much it. Then you just render it again. And I'm going to do the final. I just do final. Save and overwrite it. Um, that is pretty much it. That's how you make a time lapse. Like I said, do you can do whatever you want with it. You record you whatever you want. So if this helped you, if you make one, we'll leave it as a video response. And I'll check it out. Maybe you can give me some good ideas too. But uh, this has been Zach from Wave Riders 14, and uh, see you later. Thanks for watching.